feeling adventurous today. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. We we're in uh, Gloria's mind. That's right. Um, it is Gloria, right? Let's just check quick. Uh, yeah, Gloria. Okay, and yeah, the muse's name is Bonita. It totally has not been a long while <laughs> since I've played this. Oh gosh, forgot how loud that was. Oh, we're gonna have to go up there anyway. Oh wait, wait, wait! Aha! Never mind, got those figments. Hello, guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Psychonauts. Uh, can we get it? Yeah, there we go. The more we get the more we get of these right now, the less we have to do later. And trust me, these ones are kind of a pain to get. I think we got all of them though, so. And welcome back to Let's Play Psychonauts with Mio X Fu. And last time we found out that Bonita is willing to go back on the stage because they've got a new script. Uh, I think. <laughs> I think that's the reasoning. I can't remember, it's been a while. Um, but then there is the Phantom that dropped a uh, sandbag from above. So yeah, we get a, we have to find our way up to the top of the stage, and to do that we need to get up to that hot air balloon and try and stop this phantom. Ooh, almost missed a figment. Almost... Oh no, that's not a figment, that's just a texture on the wall. Um, so basically, part of Bonita, or not Bonita, Gloria's uh, little reason why she's in... Um, well, an asylum at all is because she has mood swings, and those are controlled by this right here. Whack it. Turns from happy to angry, sad. Turns from positive to negative, basically. And so does the scene. We get to little, watch a little act, too. I love these. So over the top. Wahaha! <laughs> Welcome to Hagatha the Home School for Girls, where you will begin your long and painful training in the theatrical disciplines. <laughs> but I don't want to study theater! I want my mom to come take me home right now! Your mom has a career and a boyfriend to think about. She doesn't have time for an ugly little girl like you. This is acting! There is nothing more tedious than the tears of an unlovable child. <laughs> it's time to suffer for your art! <laughs> oh man, I love that. I'd... Just how over the top they are. I'm glad they're over the top. I mean, I mean, I know I made the joke. This is acting! Oh yeah, by the, by the way, these guys turn... Uh, quite... Unfriendly now. <laughs> oh, comedy. Um, but <laughs> see, F to yeah, that's right. F to switch directions. But um, you know, I love I love how how badly this is done because I mean, if it was done well, it wouldn't really be that funny, would it? All right, let's. There we go, Rasputin. Get up here and get that. Hey, there's the hot air balloon. Yeah. I need to get to the catwalks. We can get up now, right? Now, if I could just get them to do a play that oh, brings man. it down here, I could ride it up to the catwalks and take care of that phantom. Yeah, I know. Now, wait a minute. Didn't we uh, have a another script somewhere? No? Okay. Oh, no, I didn't want to hit X. Jeez. Or exit. I didn't want to hit escape. I must have given all the... Uh, plays that we do have to the stage director, I can't remember. So now what follows is a bit of problem solving, as we try to figure out which way we have to arrange the plays in order... I'll wait for this. The mail boat ain't <laughs> coming for you, girly. <laughs> The mail boat may never come, but I think I see the mail train approach it through yon tunnel. Mail train? Yay! Surely it bears to me a letter from my dear mother who abandoned me at this school for girls so long ago. A dragon? Ah! Ha ha ha! 
is a dragon indeed. You have been <laughs> fooled and come from? Outstanding. But yeah, oh shoot. Oh crap, this is not good at all. Um, okay, so basically what follows, if we can not die for a second. Oh, yeah, I forgot the, the fake water here actually counts as real water as well. No, come on, cut it out. God, this is, wor this is worse than uh, Mario 64. Can't even keep my cool. I want to get that figment, jeez. Um. <laughs> anyway, let's get away from that a little. Um. Where would I, what I was even talking? You know, basically we have to find uh, the different sets that'll let us progress. Well, you'll see. You'll see what I, you'll see what I mean. We we need to find different scripts which will which will allow us to access different sets, and each set has a happy and a sad version. Uh, case in point. And each one you can access different parts. Like we can. Oh my dear mother, do you not love my new seaside mansion, bought with a fraction of the wealth my overnight success has given to me? <laughs> yes, Gloria, my daughter. I only live to make you happy. We are so lucky to be together again, so that I could share it all with you. And also that you are not even jealous of my youth and fame, <laughs> though my star has risen so much faster and grown so much bigger than that of yours, <laughs> which has so quickly faded. Yes. <laughs> oh man, that just that yes at the end. That just makes it perfect. I forgot about this, how tongue in cheek it was, how you, you actually get a clear picture of Gloria's life rather than it just being like, oh, hey, well, you know, Gloria was this fantastic artist, and oh yeah, also she had a terrible childhood. It's not just that, we also get to learn about her mother. I don't know if her mother was actually jealous. She probably was. Maybe she wasn't. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter at all. Do we have a new script for you? I can't remember. Maybe we did give it to you. So, how do I get up to the cat maybe box? we didn't. Bring me all the scripts you find, and maybe one of them will bring that hot air balloon down, if you play it on the right set. Well, jeez. Do we bring you one? No, we don't have another script. Crap. Do we have anything we can take out that dragon with? I don't think so. Hmm, I'm trying to remember, because it's been a while. It has been a while indeed since I since I have played through this mind, and it always there. It always it always does trip me up how to actually progress through this part of the game. Oh, we've seen this already, haven't we? I, oh no, we haven't. Guten, would be starring in my own Broadway musical at such a young age. I hope my mother is proud of me. Well, here it goes. Yeah, we haven't seen that yet, so that's okay. Huzzah! Forsooth! What is thine sweet smell in the air? Let us spin and be happy, entwined in this pole of love, forever young and twisty! Rejoice! For spring has besat in upon ourselves, and the spirit of May is a-lingering! I don't even know what to say, Gloria. I don't even know what to say. Or are these your cherished memories? Well, I can guess why they're your cherished memories. It's just... Eh. Did we talk to Jasper? I can't remember. Let's talk to him. He said he had a script for hey, us, right? can you help me get up to the catwalk so I can fight that phantom? Ah! Can't get there from here. <laughs> I mean, unless you did that one particular play on that one particular set. Oh, but what am I saying? That's almost impossible. Forget about it. The theater is doomed. 
Well, no, I want I want to do that play. Give me the script. Come on, come on. Give me the script. Why do you hey, have to be so hard on so Benita? Exactly. I'm to save you from that mysterious phantom character. He only attacks when Bonita performs. If we got rid of Little Miss Sunshine, we'd all be safer now, wouldn't we? I'm only thinking of the children. Hey, maybe, maybe he only attacks when you're being a bud. Bonita's just trying to lighten things up around here. Ah, I've seen better shines on a shoe. She should quit now while she can still get a job as a nightlight. Uh, they're not really paying anybody anything, so if you can't I don't say know. something nice, don't say anything at all. The young boy's protests, though heartfelt, quickly lapsed into simplistic and tedious platitudes. One and a half stars. Shut up, you go yeah, exactly. Alright, later you gas back. If you hate the show so much, we'll figure why don't out you this just stuff. Leave? I can't stop looking at it. It's like the sight of a horrible car accident. A car accident where the victims can't act and the paramedics forget their lives. Yeah, well you don't have a neck. Uh, later, you old gas bag. <laughs> this this play just stinks. Here, try this one instead. This play has some action in it. Some zing. Wow. Oh, thank Thanks. you. Are you actually being nice? No, I'm just trying to keep myself halfway entertained. Go, give that to Becky, and see if she can't find some actors to ruin it. Well, thank you anyway. You know, I, I kind of needed this. At least I'm guessing this is the one I need. So let's uh, let's try this one out. Hey, what's this? A new script? Yeah. Night of joy. Weird. <laughs> it smells like popcorn, and it doesn't say which set to play it on. Oh well, we'll just play it on whatever's on stage. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? Sounds good to me. Let's you, go. You can be my first AD. Use the megaphone if you want to run the play again. Okay, new script, everybody. Let's practice. Okay, cool. I got a megaphone. And action. Perfect. Now I can yell in people's ears. Mother, mother, tell me true of the dad I never knew. He was brave in thought and deed. Can't you hear his mighty steed? Now, as far as I remember, that'll pretty much be the same on both sets. Um, like let's 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 go to the other uh, the other happy one. Uh, I believe it'll be essentially the same if we play it on this set. I don't know. Maybe it'll be different. We'll see. Uh, yeah, megaphone. See, Night of Joy. Come on. Yeah, that one can use a little work. A bit loud, but oh well. Mother, mother, tell me true of the dad I never knew. He was brave in thought. All right, so it's pretty much the same, except now instead of being in the foreground, he's going through the background. Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> um, ho ho, comedy. Uh, no, I forgot. Um. Well, anyway, he's going in the background now, but hmm, maybe if we get make him go towards the dragon, uh, ooh, um, <laughs> whoops, that's uh, my friend. Don't pay attention to that. <laughs> Talking about Torchlight Two, good game. Should all get it. It's really good. <laughs> um, ooh, I like that megaphone, man. If they were all all looked like that, it'd be like something out of Banjo Kazooie. It'd be great. Oh, we're gonna. Becky, can we see the night of joy again? Yeah, yeah let's that see it again. Come on. Little work. Mother, mother, tell me true of the dad I never knew. He was brave in thought and deed. Can't you hear his mighty steed? That's cool though that it's the same play no matter what set it's on. I guess. I mean. Set. Anyway, we're gonna jump up here, right quick. Oh, geez, that's loud. 
We're gonna jump up here right quick. Let's get a... Uh... Ooh, crap, we're getting a little low. Um... No, I'd keep hitting that on accident. Oh, shush up. Alright. Sorry, I had to take care of that guy, because otherwise... Kind of get a little bit, um... Get a little bit close to dying here, so... Don't want that to happen. So, we got a new play the day the mail boat finally came. So we're gonna bring that over to Becky. And... Oh! Another script? Yeah, maybe you can run it. The day the mail boat finally came? <laughs> Just toss it backstage uh -oh. like all the others. Prop department, I'm gonna need a boat on stage right away. Okay, people. Laces, everyone. Alright, this'll work. This and... will work. And... action! Maybe. Aha! Uh -huh. Ah, oh, twas never a vessel more beautiful and resplendified! <sighs> Sorry, no mail for you, ugly girl! Ha <laughs> 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 In your face, fatty! <laughs> Again, it's just the delivery that I love more than anything else. Alright, so we should be able to uh, jump onto this mail boat. And if we had not fallen in the water, it would have taken us to the next set. But of course, if things worked out well enough, then uh, this wouldn't be a great uh, this wouldn't be a great episode. Whatever. Well, shoot. Um, should be able to run that on the happy set as well. So. Uh, while we're at it, let's 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 see how that looks on the happy set as well. You know, might as well. At least we won't be attacked there. <laughs> at least we'll still have our health <laughs> and maybe our, our internal organs. Maybe. Can't say for sure. Anyway, Becky, let's see. Uh... Yeah. That one can use a little work. A little, a little work? Have you seen their I acting? Say, I believe I do see the mail boat approaching. Oh man, there it is. Oh, was never a vessel more beautiful and resplendified. Are you Miss Gloria Von Guten? Yes. Well, then these bags and bags of lavender scented fan mail must be for your beautiful self. Yay! Guess so. Alright. Well, we're almost up to the rafters. I think I'm going to keep this episode going until we finally get up there. Because we're, we're... Oh, come on. I'm so bad at this. I'm just... I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just... Yeah, that one. I really like the water. I don't understand why Rasputin can't just get over a little phobia. I mean, come on. Come on. Let's just skip this. And get in the boat. Not touching the keyboard so I don't fall out. Jeez. You know, we could have just asked them to move the set, I guess, but this is a much more fun way to do it. <laughs> get to see a lot more Gloria, too. Goodbye, my previously dear mother! I flee now to Europe to escape your insane jealousy over my amazing career! Please do not leave me, Gloria, my daughter! Go now, and I shall do something unto myself both drastic and traumatizing to you emotionally! Oh yeah, I forgot Care about this. I do not, for you sicken me with disgust. Adieu, mon mère. Adieu. See, Glory actually gives us probably the most complete look into uh, any of these any of these characters that we've met so far just because of the way that it presents itself. Like, again, we get both sides, which is, I, I think, really, really cool. Whereas most of the other people, because they're just, oh, just regular crazy, <laughs> they're, um... 
they just uh, give us one side. All right, so um, believe we have to go back through this side. So before Help! we do it, <laughs> sorry about bashing in your cranium like that. Jeez, didn't know you'd get such a kick out of it though. So before we go back through that passageway, we're gonna look at the dark side, just to get any figments and also see the other side of the story. Pray tell me, my shady manager and rumored lover, must I truly ship my only daughter Gloria off to hag of the homeschool for girls? Yes, and immediately, before she ruins our career. I mean your career. No, never shall <laughs> I go. Worry not, baby daughter, for I every day shall write to you. Yes, and I shall mail the letters myself, personally. Ha <laughs> ha! And by mail, I mean I won't. Ha 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 ha! All right, let's let's finish this. As much as I like Gloria, she's not my favorite. And it's about time for her curtains to close. Ah, shoot. Falling in the water again. I'm not even close to the water. What are you talking about? That figment. See, I can't even draw... I can't even fall in the water and try to try to save myself. <laughs> I don't know. It's more... I don't, I don't care. I will fall in the water for once, though. Because I want to get that figment. I want to get that figment. There we go. I mean, falling in the water. I don't think it does us any damage, so what's the harm? Yeah, look, we're fine. Got a bit of a throbbing heart <laughs> beat in the background, but eh, whatever. Don't need any dream fluff here. Goodbye, hag at the home. Hey, I, I think this is the one with the... Hey, props. Is that hot air balloon still working? Let's hustle, people. It's showtime. That means you too, kid. You gotta hustle onto that balloon if you want to get up to the catwalks. And... action! Yep, yep, I know. Sigh! When will my father ever come take me home from this horrible school for girls? Do not worry, for I believe I see them floating here now in a magical balloon! Hey, cue the magical balloon, moron! And my hey, magical balloon... There's no magical balloon on this set, but that won't stop me from jumping down there and kicking your ass. <laughs> so, watch it. <laughs> I don't think you've ever heard that before. <laughs> oh, man, that was great. That was choice. All right, so I'm going to switch the set over one more time, and I'm going to go back to the dragon side. And we'll see how the magical balloon hit works that way. Yeah, we've seen all this all before. Let's skip. Well, come on, come on. We've seen this all before. We don't need we don't need a repeat. Oh, but that magical balloon. Gotta love it. Gotta love that crazy. That crazy metaphor for crazy. A magical balloon that'll come down and take her away from all her worries. Eh. Whatever works. Alright, so I believe from here, maybe? Wait, 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 wait. I can't, I can't, I can't go into first person view. I can't check it. Is this... Can we, uh, use the magic balloon from here, or...? I think we gotta skip, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey! Psst. What? There's no magic cloud in this set. <laughs> oh, rats. Well, uh, let's just run around happily and maybe no one will notice. <laughs> okay. So it is the very first set that we have to go back. And I believe we have to be on the dark set so that we can actually get up to the top. No big deal, no big deal. We're almost there, we're almost there. Cal cal calm your tits. Uh, hold your horses. Uh, whatever else there is for a euphemism for calm down. We're almost there. We're almost there. We'll get to the uh, to the phantom any second. 
Yeah, yeah, turn dark. Get your little spooky skulls hanging off of the ha hanging off of Hagatha House, so we can actually escape from this this here uh, Hagatha House for girls. Reminds me of the, the Ghoul School from Scooby Doo. <laughs> Aw, oh, man. I love those old Scooby-Doo movies. Hate the new ones. And by new, I mean the ones since, like, 2000. <laughs> oh, careful, Raz. Almost almost took a tumble there. Alright, let's run Hagatha House. Yeah, that one can use a little work. We should be good. We should be good. Whatever is wrong. Let's skip it. Let's skip it. Oh, uh, I don't work. It's all the hey, same. It doesn't matter. Right. I think I see them now. There they are. There is that balloon, indeed. Hello, my dear beloved daughter. We have come back for you. Please come with us and be happy and never <laughs> think of this terrible, terrible place again. Repression! The end. Everything ended up better than we expected. Oop, don't fall. Don't fall. <laughs> we don't want to accidentally kill ourselves. Anyway, now we will be going after the phantom. Oh, I saw him go by. Next time on Let's Play Psychonauts with Mio X Fu. See you guys later. Take it easy. Fight the phantom! <laughs>